In this video, I'll show you how to block a customer in your WooCommerce store. So there's many reasons why you might want to do this. For example, if there's a customer that's constantly abusing your return policy or maybe even charging back after placing an order, I'll show you how to permanently block that user using the free plugin. Let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, we'll be using this user blocker plugin to restrict customers from having access to our website. So I'm just going to copy over the name here and then we'll go ahead and install it in our dashboard. Dashboard. So let's go plugins, add new. We'll search for this particular plugin. We'll install and activate it. All right, and now we've got this user blocker tab here. So let's go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. All right, and we can block customers in a few different ways. So we can block users um, by the time. So maybe you wanna restrict um, customers from accessing your website during a particular time frame, or even you can do it by the date as well, or you can just permanently block users. So in this case, I'm just gonna permanently block a user. So I'm just gonna navigate over to block user permanently. All right, and I want to block this particular user here. Okay, so I'm just going to click on edit. All right, and when we scroll down here, we can display a message. So when they do try to log into our site, we can show them a custom message, letting them know their account's been restricted, right? Okay, and we can also set a redirection link as well. All right, so I'm just going to hit update. Okay, and here we can quickly see that this particular user has been blocked from our website. So it's the same concept when we do it by time and date as well. So now let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, and here we're showing customers the notice, letting them know their account's been restricted and that they need to contact support for more information. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below. 